Hey, what's up, Lightbulb Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2007 comedy film American Pie Presents Beta House. So this is a direct sequel to 2006's Naked Mile. Eric, his friend Coos, or Eric Stifler and his friend Coos are back to the college to uh, now pledge for Beta House, which is run by Dwight Stifler, who is Eric's cousin. Eric and Dwight Stifler are cousins, but they are also other cousins to Matt and Steven Stifler, who we know and love from American Pie, one, two, three, and then four for Bandcamp. We're on the sixth American Pie film. It's just, it's it's comedy gold. It's 2007 at its peak. The soundtrack, the clothes, the hair, nostalgia at its finest. I was a senior in high school when this came out. Loved it. Love it, love it, love it. I think my favorite fun fact about this film is that Robbie Amell plays uh, Nick Anderson, who is a freshman who is pledging alongside, you know, Eric and Coos and their friend Bobby. And uh, the four of them are all together to pledge doing this pledge stuff off the boards and, you know, doing a digital scavenger hunt to prove that they're worth, you know, to, to go into beta house, right? We did digi scabs. That's what we called them. Digital scavenger hunts, digi scabs back in the day, back in 07. We did that. It was, it's, we did crazy things like not extremely crazy things like that, but we did crazy things like that. So it was fun seeing that art imitating life kind of a thing. So the point about Robbie Amell is that this is like his second or third film or something like that in 2007. I love Robbie Amell. He is the most famous out of all of this uh, cast of crew, um, cast of characters. And he was a tertiary character in this film. It's just so cool seeing how much he's progressed, especially, you know, with doing, you know, upload on Amazon Prime. He's done the babysitter movies on uh, on Netflix. He's, he's going to be in the third season of Witcher on Netflix. Like, he, he is nonstop. He is incredible. He's been on the Flash TV show many a times. He was on Arrow for a while. Robbie Amell, who I, I just, I have not seen this movie in over a decade. And to see his face, and I was like, wait a minute. No. And it was, it's Robbie Amell. And I was like, haha, look at him. How much he's grown. I'm so proud of him. I don't even know him. I'm still so proud of him. So, okay. Eugene Levy is obviously the most famous out of everybody. But I'll go Eugene Levy and then Robbie Amell right under. And then everybody else kind of just faded. They did their own things here and there, or like, you know, guest appearances, little TV spots here and there, but like, nothing big. What happens? So sometimes it's luck. Who would have thought? So this film is keeping up with the Brotherhood tradition, the Beta House tradition. Then there's the, um, the first film in the sequel aspect of this. Uh, Naked Mile, you had Beta House versus the, um, I forget the, the house name, but it was the Little People House. And then run by Rock, right? And then Rock makes a guest appearance in this because the that frat has been kicked off campus because of the Geek House. So the Geek House is the new rivalry to Beta House. And then the Geek House enlists a Greek uh, games to be played upon, the Olympiad. Um, that's where this comes into effect, where Naked Mile was the big event for the first one, as in the fifth film, Naked Mile. And then uh, Beta House's sixth film is about the Greek Olympiad run by Noah Levinson, yet again, of course. And so, just, you know, very things, events, gaining points, who's winning, who's losing, things of that nature. Things that did not age well, bestiality, first of all. Um, trans jokes did not age well at all. But that's it, honestly. That's that's it. Out of the hour and a half long film, those are the only two things that didn't age well in the rest of the uh, the film. The the whole stripper fight scene of the strippers beating the crap out of the, uh, of the frat brothers. Hysterical, empowering. Excellent. Um, it, it's just fun watching this in a party sense, remembering parties of that time period. Um, nostalgia. I've said that so many times within, especially four, five, and six, because uh, 2005, 2006, 2007, I was a teenager when these came out. I was targeted for my gen. So it's nice to see the second gen of the three gen representation for the American Pie films. One, two, three... We're more on the uh, Gen X side, four, five, six, we're more on the millennial side. And then uh, seven, eight, nine is a mix of all of us, Gen X, Gen Y, which are us millennials, as well as Gen Z, the Zennials, as we are, uh, or the Zoomers. No, yeah, we call them Zoomers. Um, it's just so cool seeing all this play out. Some things have aged well, some things have not aged well. But overall, it's, it's about self-discovery and it's a perfectly natural thing. Uh, within self-discovery, as Eugene Levy has says, everything's perfectly natural. Perfectly natural. Love this film. Love this franchise. On to the next one. Uchi mahalo.